Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the lessons, Tarot Lessons 101. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. For those of you guys returning, welcome, my lovelies. The Wheel of Fortune. Let's continue our walk in the Major Arcana, finally coming here with the Wheel of Fortune the Lord of the forces of life, planetary trump of Jupiter, tree of life path 21. For centuries, the wheel of fortune has been interpreted as the card of good luck. That is only partially true. If you want me to be completely honest, it is also the card of bad luck and the card of luck getting better and the card of luck getting worse. Whatever kind of luck we are talking about here, one thing's for sure, it's going to change. This card represents the universe and its aspect as a conditional change of state. Change is stability, and with stability comes order. Card number 10 in the major arcana, the wheel of fortune is the I am changing. The wheel of fortune can be an awkward card for those of you guys that are just learning the tarot. And I understand sometimes it could come off a little bit difficult to interpret. When it comes up in a reading, it's the beginning and the end. Sometimes you're riding the wheel and sometimes you're ground to dust under the wheel. It's very subjective. This card is about the law of return. It can be about good things happening and luck turning around or a warning to batten down the hatches and get ready to rumble. This is a great card to have a reading, but if you're a reader, it kind of sucks. It's ambiguous, and it's hard to get a clear direction when first learning the tarot cards. It is about having to really go through the whole process to really learn the lesson. And we can tell you right now to turn right or to turn left because it is a lesson that you must go through. I love getting this as a final card because I get to look at the client and say, high five, buddy. <laughs> but in some cases, it can also mean that exact opposite. Things are going to suck for a while, but everything will work out. It is essentially a card that represents destiny and our destination. Like previously mentioned, bad luck or good luck, the ups and downs of life and faith. Everything is in motion turning and flowing, constant change, whether it's accidental or flowing organically through life. It's important to remember what goes up must always come down and vice versa. So a not so pleasant situation will eventually turn around, just like the likelihood of a very positive situation may also turn around. It's the understanding of life and life's cycles. It speaks about life changing events where you have little to no control over it, whether it's karma, the law of cause and effect. It is inevitable that change, one thing to take from this major arcana, asserts to everything there is a reason and a season. Some key words for the wheel of fortune are fate, change, chance, success, new direction, luck karma, unexpected change. On the grander scale of things, the wheel of fortune encourages you to embrace the ever-changing cycles. Nothing in life will remain as is. The wheel of fortune is much like the tidal wave. The more you resist it and fight it, the more resistance you will experience. If you fight an ocean wave, essentially, you can drown yourself, whereas letting go and going with the waves will bring you back up. Even in the negative aspect of the Wheel of Fortune, it encourages you to embrace the cycle because it will ultimately benefit you in the long run. As an example, let's get into everyday struggles. If you've been at a job for over five years and there hasn't been much progress, growth within those five years, this card may show up in your reading, giving you a heads up that things are quickly going to change. Of course, having a lot to do with the other cards around it, it will signify if it's good or bad. But for the sake of the story, it's representing the change that's coming. 
that in the moment you may see as difficult or a strike of bad luck, as an example, getting fired or laid off from that job, you've been there for five years, only to find a much better high paying job, perhaps with coworkers that are much more balanced, more positive or optimistic. What you would consider at that point in time, getting fired or laid off as bad luck, or perhaps something you don't wanna deal with, on a much grander scale of things, it could represent around the corner, there is new change. There is a better job. You get that job and you look back and you realize, had it not been because of that situation, you wouldn't have found the courage or the strength to go about looking for a better job. We go through everyday struggles and situations like this, of that of the example of the job, getting fired, we go into crisis mode. We'll need to realize the moment we take a step back, take a deep breath and end up in a better situation. This is the universe giving you that shakeup you needed. Whereas otherwise you wouldn't have made a move and you would have still been stuck in that non-productive job or relationship. Whatever luck the wheel of fortune is bringing to you, whether it's good or bad, it is asking you to take it with grace and patience. Sometimes we get so fixated into the situation that we may be dealing that we become frozen in time, not being able to move or make a decision. This is the universe stepping in and giving you the shakeup you need. It is telling you it's time for a change, whether you are ready or not, whether you're at the top or the bottom. Remember that this too shall pass. Looking at this card, we have the four elements. Luke, the bull, is earth. Mark, the lion, is fire. John, the eagle, is water. And Matthew, the angel, is air. The alchemy symbols within the wheel at the top is mercury for air. On the right side, we have sulfur for fire. Below is water and left is salt for earth. The god Anubis is known for the god of death, therefore symbolizing transformation and new beginnings. The snake descending from the left also in close connection to the snake in the tree of life that is depicted in the lover's card, which can represent temptation and overcoming challenges. The Sphinx representing life's riddles or mysteries. It is also the learning that is not our good luck or bad luck that puts us in situations, but oftentimes it is the choices and decisions that you have made that have unfolded and put you where you're at now. It is about taking self-responsibility. The more we know about ourselves and learn to teach our mind to count the blessings more so than the misfortunes, our outside world will continue to unfold or echo based on our world within, meaning ourselves. The more power we can exercise towards directing our destiny, the more the positive outlook will be when this card shows up in your reading. Let us put this concept in terms of Roman mythology. Not sure if you guys have heard, of the story of Saturn and his wife, Sybil. They were titans, aspects of the old chaotic forces that preceded the so-called ordered universe. Saturn was warned in prophecy that one of his offsprings at one day would dethrone him. So each time Sybil gave birth to Saturn's kids, Saturn would swallow the children as long as he kept doing this, the universe remained as pure potential and creation. As we know, it was put on hold. What does this mean? He refused change. He decided that he would swallow every single child that was born so that he wouldn't have to deal or face with the consequences of what the prophecy foretold, that one of his offsprings would dethrone him. The resisting part of not wanting to accept the cycles of life change until his wife eventually got tired of all his baby eating 
And when she gave birth to her sixth child, Jupiter, she tricked Saturn by giving him a stone to swallow. She then secretly removed the child from Saturn's presence and brought him to Earth to be raised. Saturn eventually got indigestion and threw up the rock and the five other divine children, as prophesied. Jupiter dethroned Saturn, aka destiny stepping in. No matter how much resistance, no matter how much we deny ourselves that things are changing sooner than later, things change. Much like in the story, Jupiter organized his brothers and sisters. They brought order to the cosmos and from our mortal point of view, created the universe. Like in our many other lessons, what character or person or movie does the Wheel of Fortune remind you of? Like in the story of Saturn, the Wheel of Fortune is a reminder that not all things are as they seem because of perception because of how we view our experience or situations, but also that everything changes, that everything evolves, that like the seasons we must embrace, we must surrender to the flow of life and its energies. Ultimately, we cannot control our outside world until we learn to master the world within us. It is a little tap in the back that you are the captain of your own boat. Whether you choose to have direction, goals, aspirations, and the deep understanding that the only one you are in control of is yourself, and how you react to situations and circumstances, or whether you choose to throw up your hands and accept that you're destined to experience life as you know it, ultimately, the decision comes down to you. You are the master of your life. Whether you fight, change, or embrace it, Changes are inevitable. I hope you have a better understanding of the Wheel of Fortune. I tried really hard to try to describe it so that it could be much easier to interpret or at least to understand and recognize the energies of the Wheel of Fortune. As always, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Comment below. Let us know if you guys are enjoying these videos and we'll see you guys soon. Till then, bye-bye.